Hello and welcome to Richinix Gaming. We're continuing our playthrough of uh, our Let's Play. That's what I'm playthrough, whatever, whatever your terminology is uh, of Sid Meier's Pirates. Uh, today I have uh, my book here, uh, The Pirate Dictionary by Terry Breverton. I was just gonna poke through this book while we were playing. Uh, let's just catch up on what we're doing here. We've got that guy due north, pretty much, northeast. Uh, San Juan. We've got Captain Kidd, uh, who's definitely not at Campeche and is actually here. Uh, we got Marquis Montalban. Wherever Skullhead is, if we come across it, we'll go look in. Uh, don't know where he is. And uh, Santiago, or as uh, the German, or as <laughs> a whale's vagina. That can't be right. Oh, that's San Diego. <laughs> um, but, let's see. That was a reference to Anchorman, the first one. Bueller? Bueller? Uh, oops. That's here. Oh, like I said, it's probably over there. Uh, so we're just, I think the plan was to head to San Juan and then head west. And that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> All right, the pirate dictionary. There's a little forward here. We hear the terms, steer clear of, hit the deck, don't rock the boat, to harbor a grudge and the like, and... Give little thought to their nautical origin. This alphabetical handbook is written to be entertaining as well as informative. Oh, they're not even going to let me in San Juan. Who are they at war with? The Dutch, that's it? The Dutch? I'm a duke for them. But they're not gonna let me in. Are they gonna fire on me? Yep. We're actually not going to be able to deal with him right now. Alright, so I guess we're heading west to San Santiago. I mean, you don't have to be sailing next to me then, if you don't like me, so. Oh no, it didn't really make sense, did it? Skull Reef. It's not mentioned at all. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Oh, Petit Gove. I would talk about that. Oh, I'm nowhere near Santiago yet. Her. The Der. So we'll go to Petit Gulf. See what's up with the French.
Reminding myself of uh, what it was called. Oh, hello! Getting old. Hey, I'm not just a mister, my friend. I'm a fucking dude. What a terrible smile. Of course a pirate hunter. You really want to fight? Dumber can you get? I was exactly right. I did not need to buy the last piece of the map. That is the last treasure. Now we just need to defeat the last pirate. Uh, become a duke in the English court. 
Uh, not court. Well, I guess it's court at that point, isn't it? Uh, get rid of all this, and then become a duke there. Uh, by doing both of those things, I'm sure to finish this out. Uh, by doing tho both of those things, defeating him, I could probably finish this out before I even uh, finish all this. Uh, and uh, I, mean, I just saved her, so we can go get married, but didn't really want to marry a, a blondie. But we'll see. Alright, so he's down there. Yep. He... Whatever skull that is. He's over there. So let's do this. One of these maneuvers. Bing. A boom. A chili booly boo. Alright, where was I in this book? To give a flavor of these interesting times from the 15th to 18th centuries when pirates controlled many lanes. <coughs> sea lanes. Uh, just in the AB section following, the reader will find the origin of Country Bumpkin, a brace of shakes, born with a silver spoon, booby prize, to take on board, above board, bombed in the sense of being drunk, the blues, blindside, blind drunk, the pot calling the kettle black, reach the bitter end, wasters in the sense of being, uh, someone being useless, ahoy, all at sea, to keep af aloof, piss artist, taken aback, barbecue, and bamboozle. Other colorful terms which have passed out of common usage, such as bring one's arse to anchor, belly timber, and bog orange, are also included, as well as important pirate haunts in technical terms. Yes, he talks. Find this bitch. Is that him? No, nope. just regular old pirates. Yeah, how long is he gonna be at sea? Did he fucking shipwreck? <laughs> Dude, you know... The question bothers me.
think it wants me to go in Camp Hesh to get him or something. Like, why has no one else seen him? expensive, but I want it. the game forget that I'm still looking for this guy? Jesus. Alright, I can't pass up on that. Why the fuck not? I was trying to advance while staying away, that's why I entered this weird. guys out in the open but whatever
pound. You're not even Spanish anymore. Ooh, and now I'm a marquee. Yeah, he's got everything. Thanks. I make sure none of these places are Spanish and people like Grimondo and uh, Montalban won't be all the way out here. Does any anyone know anything about Captain Kidd? Captain Kidd. Nothing ever happens for you guys, huh? Skullhead! Alright. Like, due south of Skullhead. Heads. So we're like down in the uh, non existent part of the map right now. Tell me I can't find it. Alright, so it's gotta be like due south of it. Right next to Skullhead. And we're gonna go do south. Alright, so that was a Stonehead. Deserted cabin. That's not on the map. Oh. Ha ha! Ha ha!
and actually fight them off. Alright, that's good. That's good. That's a tie. Gonna both run away or what? Fuck you, game. Idiots. They just literally lined up for that. shockingly easy. Now for the hard part. Realization. Jesus Christ! Oh. Damn it! I'll use the rapier next time. What? It's not even the same. Wow, they're all just like lined up. Yeah, you got those guys stuck, fucking idiots. Oops! Fuck! I could have shot. Fuck! Oh, that might come back and bite me.
Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? I had a two point fucking advantage. What is the fucking point of this number system if it doesn't fucking mean anything? Anakin and Count Dooku? You are a master tactician, sir. Truly, I have done your family a terrible injustice. I give you 100,000 gold pieces, which are rightfully yours. Among my crew are eight specialists of extraordinary skill henceforth. They will serve you. I, myself, will serve as your cabin steward. I would not accept... I'd take everything. And then I'd kill you. Like, I would take all that stuff and I would never accept you as a cabin steward. I'd take you out in the boat, we'd go out into the middle of the ocean, and I'd drop you into it. All right. So we've defeated the Marquis Montalban. That doesn't make it any easier against Baron Raimondo, though. As dumb as that is. Uh, well, you know what? Don't start a fight you can't finish. That is a lesson everybody should know. Why aren't you flying your fucking white flags? You want to put up a fight? That's what I fucking thought. Just give me the ship. You surrendered. I'm close enough. Thank you. be able to take this. Does that say invasion force? Where are you going? Well, good luck to whoever you're going to try to invade, because it doesn't look like I can do anything.
way. Fuck you guys. If you want me... Why are you following me? I was leaving you alone. That makes sense. Fuck you guys. Like I said, don't start a fight you can't finish. That was definitely a Dutch ship, but okay. Anybody know anything about Captain Kidd?
Oh no! <laughs> Idiots. I'm blowing up, bro. Sir, on our way down to where Baron Raimondo is. Let's keep going through this dictionary. <sighs> Aback. When sails face into a head on wind, the ship stops going forward. Today's phrase, taken aback, comes from this nautical term. When one struggles, to make progress and goes backwards. Many nautical terms begin with A, such as abaft, aboard, about, abreast, adrift, afloat, afore, aground, ahead, ahoy, a hull, a lee, aloft, aloof, a main, a midship, a peak. Invasion force, where are you invading? You are most of mine. I never really noticed that. Oh, so many nautical terms begin with the word A, I mean the letter A. From a situation in the fore part of the ship, this refers to the stern. The mast hangs abaft, means that the mast points towards the stern. The Dutch are really set on attacking in there. So many invasion forces. New governors. It came from all the way from Caracas. Which wasn't even originally theirs. Dude, is that him? That's him!
Yes. Bachelor's Delight. That's a good name. <coughs> Taking forever to turn about. <clears throat> to be under a hundred. Fuck it. Go. Come on, they surrendered. You're close enough. Just accept it. We are now <laughs> the only notorious pirate. Look at that. All right, so Henry Morgan, Captain Kidd, and Jean Lafitte all captured more ships than me. I only have 111 so far. Captain Kidd did 306. Morgan did 272. We'll catch up. Uh, I have s ransacked sacked, pillaged the most towns. Some of them it did zero. Like 14. Highest uh, ranking was Captain Morgan. But uh, not anymore. Uh, I found all of their treasure. And I have the most unique items. I am the man. Uh, I'm a duke everywhere. I really need to stop attacking the Spanish, and, uh, yeah. You know what? Let's call that an episode. Uh, please like, please subscribe, please share. Uh, and next time, uh, we're just gonna be hunting down Baron Raimondo a bunch of times, it looks like. Uh, I will see you guys down in the comments. I'm sorry I didn't read much of that book. Let me know your favorite pirate word down in the comments. And uh, next time I'll read more of the dictionary. Alright. See ya. Yeah.